Hey there traders, welcome back. Sean Kozak tuning in again with Neural Street Trading Academy. And you know what time it is, we create winning traders. In this week's episode of Money Mondays, I'm gonna be breaking down the difference between trading for a prop firm and funding your own trading account. Now, if you're new to Money Mondays, each week, Neural Street Trading Academy puts on a weekly trading TV series that breaks down all things trading. All I ask that you do is click below and subscribe. That way we can help the channel grow and turn the notification bell on so each week when we put out content like this, you get notified and you can stay in the know. Okay, so let's jump onto the boards and show you what the difference is between funding your own account and getting funded for a prop trading firm. Okay, so what we're gonna do is I've mapped out the pros and cons of both avenues. Now I wanna talk a little bit about a, a story first so that we can kind of explain the relevance to today's topic. Now first and foremost, the number one thing most traders need to understand about financial trading is that it's a capital-based industry which means you can't really trade unless you have money. And those that have access to capital are usually more fortunate than those that don't. However, it's a much larger environment to those entering into the industry because a lot of traders now are up and coming and they really want to be able to seek access to capital who are not so fortunate as those that actually have access to their own money, right? So this kind of, kind of makes you kind of decide, right? Are you somebody that has access to capital or are you someone that doesn't? Uh, do you want to trade your own money? Do you want to trade for a firm, right? Either way, I want to point out something before we get started. Neural Street Trading Academy is actually partnered with several funding companies, also known as prop firms, who will provide you with capital once you're able to prove that you're good enough to pass their tryouts. And one of the things that Neural Street Trading Academy does is we teach traders A, a proven strategy, B, how to trade in live markets, and see how to put together a winning trading plan so that you can follow the risk management parameters to be able to get funded working for prop firms. So let's kind of break down the differences between the two so that you understand the pros and cons to each, okay? Let's talk a little bit about prop firm funding, okay? Prop firm funding will give you access to capital. That's a pro, that's a good thing, okay? They will provide you capital so that you can enter into the trading industry and you have an opportunity to participate. They give you an opportunity, whereas if you didn't have access to capital, you wouldn't be able to trade, okay? The nice thing about prop firms is they give you a framework, mind you, it's restrictive, but they give you a framework around risk management and rules for your trading plan. So they give you an understanding and they also give you an infrastructure that gives you the basis to following a rules-based structure for trading. And more importantly, one of the biggest benefits of trading for a prop firm is you will develop master discipline. You won't get funded as a prop firm trader unless you're showing them discipline over a period of time when you try out in their combines and you actually can get funded and stay funded, okay? Now the downside to prop firm funded or, or prop firm funding is that you'll have to pay a monthly fee to take their tryouts and almost everybody fails their first combine because they're kind of getting their their kind of their wheels wet so to speak they're kind of like going to tryouts they're they're at practice they're kind of learning the ropes a little bit and then they realize okay well I really need to learn this I need to understand the risk management maybe I should go into Sean's trading room with NSTA and kind of ask some pretty important questions where all the other traders that are in the combines are, are asking, right? And that's just one of the things you have to pay a monthly fee to kind of learn the industry a bit. And then once you realize that you need to learn what you need to learn, then that fee can obviously become nothing once you become a funded trader. Okay. Now, the other thing is that the downside to trading for a prop firm is that it can be very restrictive. Okay. Why wouldn't it be? right? You're going to trade them for a firm and they're going to give you hundreds of thousands of dollars of their capital. Of course, they're going to make it difficult because it's their money and they just don't want to give it over to anybody that doesn't have the skill and doesn't know what they're doing, right? So it is kind of tough to pass, so to speak, because it's 
Wall Street. And trading is a very competitive industry. So if you're going to get funded for a prop firm, A, you need to have a trading plan. B, you need to have a proven system. C, you need to have master discipline because their combines are very, very rigid, which means their risk management is very strict. Their drawdown rules are very, very, very strict. And they're, they're really kind of building the model to see if you're willing to kind of go the long game, right? Every day, can you make a little bit of money and stop trading? Every day, can you make a little bit of money and stop trading? Can you show that you can do that consistently in changing market conditions? Then and only then will they see that you're ready to pass the combine. You'll get through the tryouts and then you'll get access to funding, okay? And uh, the uh, even tougher one here is it's, it's tough to stay funded, right? Once you pass the tryouts, now you've made it to the game time, but you know, you gotta stay in the top field, right? Like you gotta, you know, it's kinda like football, right? You've got the first string, the second string, the third string alignment. You know, just because you're starting the game doesn't mean you're staying in the whole game, right? So when you become a funded trader, it's even more important that you stay funded, right? Now, I don't say these things to kind of overwhelm you. I say these things to excite you, give you encouragement because many traders, even though you have access to capital, they still choose to trade for a prop firm because it teaches them how to be great traders. And then second of all, it gives them access to capital instead of having to risk their own money. It's a no brainer. Why wouldn't you want to try to trade somebody else's money or at least a firm's money, collect a huge percentage of the profits and not putting your upfront uh, capital at risk, right? Let's kind of shift gears a little bit and talk about the other side of the perspective or, 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 or the spectrum. You got self-funding, okay? Self-funding is where you have your own capital and you're gonna fund your own trading account once you're ready. Now, as a trading school and an educator for Neural Street Trading Academy, um, I always encourage our students to start in a simulated environment first, demonstrate that you can prove a validated track record for a period of time where you can at least have enough trade history to study the ups and downs. You've gone through a drawdown, you've pulled yourself out of a drawdown in a simulated account, then you've built the courage to step into real trading, okay? So let's talk about the pros and cons of self-funding. One of the benefits is you have more freedom, right? You can make your own decisions, you can design your own trading plan. You can build your own risk models, right? You have the ability to have more flexibility in how you choose to manage your drawdowns, your position sizing, your capital gains, all of that stuff, right? The other one here is you have the ability to scale quicker. A lot of times traders that build their credibility in the SIM account, then they go live in their real account. They see that they're doing well in the first month or two and they say, you know what? I'm confident I'm gonna add size. And that's where it's, you scale the business super quick, right? Because then you realize, okay, I'm really doing this. It's time to put the pedal to the metal. Now we don't encourage you scaling too quick because if you take a drawdown in that launch, then you're, not, then you're scaling a drawdown and you don't wanna jump the gun, so to speak. So we always encourage you to scale based off your risk tolerance and based off your skill set, okay? Now, the other side of this, let's take about the downside to self-funding. Easily break your rules. Traders that are trading for themselves, not a firm, have more flexibility, but with that more flexibility becomes, you know, you have the more potential to fall outside of the realm of your own trading plan, so to speak, which means you have less restrictive rules than, say, trading for a fund who's, or a prop firm that's watching your trades every day and monitoring your track record, right? Um, you have less accountability to yourself. You know, you're answering to yourself. You're responsible for clicking the buy and sell button. Nobody else is going to say, hey, don't do that, right? And uh, a lot of times just having less access to capital. Not everybody's capable of trading a large trading account if you're, you know, funding your own capital, right? So the best part about today's Money Mondays, it's really kind of short, sweet, and to the point. We, as a trading school, encourage everybody who's got a passion, who thinks they want to do this for a business or a living, to come into the industry without the fear of barrier to entry. Capital can be a restriction, but it doesn't have to be if you understand who your partners are, who's in your corner, rooting for you every step of the way. NSTA is 100% a supporter of your goals and your dreams to becoming a great trader. Why? Because I talk to traders from all over the world and I also see that, uh, you know, traders come with different experience levels, different, uh, you know, capital allocation, uh, different, uh, uh, you know, dreams and aspirations. And the best part about it is that we have partners that will fund you 
or we can also teach you how to fund yourself. Okay. So if you're new to Money Mondays, don't forget to click below. I hope you enjoyed the video. You want to subscribe, turn the notification bells on and uh, shoot a text out, you know, message us below. Let us know if you're a self-funded trader, a prop trader, you're looking to get funded. Uh, don't forget to join us for our trade room guest pass. It's free. You can sign up and you can join us in our live trading room. And we look forward to seeing you next week. Take care, traders. Have a fantastic day.